We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Assume nothing. In any kind of relationship, we can make the assumption that others know what we think, and we don't have to say what we want because we assume they're going to do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, how could you do that? You should know. Bottom line, folks, just ask. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down six, NASDAQ off 14, S&P's down two, gold contract up $21.10, trading at 12.75 an ounce, silver up 37 cents, $18.28 an ounce, platinum up 27 bucks, 9.67 an ounce, copper flat at 2.61 a pound, light sweet crude. Up 13 cents, 53 dollars, 21 cents a barrel. We're gonna have notes. I mean, we're gonna have bonds. I uh, bonds. We have oil numbers uh, coming out at 4:30 today, and then of course 10:30 tomorrow morning. The API is out uh, at 4:30 this afternoon. Ten-year note up 17 ticks, 125.14. 30-year bond up one full point, plus two ticks, 152.27. Now both notes and bonds, folks. Confirmed ABC structures on the way up. They also took out a four-month consolidation. So what does that stand up to? Bottom line is that higher price, lower yields. The 10-year right now is trading at 2.3. Have to love it. Pretty amazing. That's down from 2.634. King dollar. King dollar down 297 ticks, trading at 100.655. The euro is 106 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 109.71 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Okay. You got a rejection of lower price. You did 83 million shares. You're coming into 87 million. You, closed, you went down to 233. 34, you close the 235.03, guess what? This thing's gonna bounce again. <laughs> uh, now, what you have here though, this is what's pretty cool. So you got, you got a high volume load that's laying out here at the uh, 232.96. You get another one from today. You got everything, every time it tries to go top side, it gets sold. So we'll find out how it's gonna try to probably run into 236.25 tomorrow. That's inside your SPY. We go to take a look at the Dow Industrial, same type of setup inside the Dow. You do have an expansion of volume. Uh, bottom line is that you're at, you went down to 20,512, you're at 20,651. Now, if you want to see something that's really deviant, this is pretty cool. If you follow candlestick charting or council charting, you can get caught in this pretty easy, meaning that you look at this and you think that it's a hammer. That is not a hammer, folks. That's a hanging man. And the reason that what the difference is, a hanging man and a hammer is the exact same symbol. The difference is that in order to qualify for a hammer, you have to be in, on a downtrend, and we're just going sideways. So when you take a look at that, that's actually just a hanging man. If we put this on the weekly, uh, you're going to see that we are still in a doji. That's how this is shaken out. But that uh, is always a little deviant uh, when you do something like that, when you're still at highs. The NASDAQ composite, same type of setup. Uh, composite, the composite actually, we're only down 14 bucks. The composite's a lot, a lot, a lot weaker. Uh, composite, we came down, let's see what we did out here. So, you did 1.8 billion versus 1.6 of yesterday. If we take a look at the NDX 100, um, yeah, this also did it too. This, this was down 57 cents. This didn't make it back that much. We expanded volume to 33 million. Yesterday was trying to make a high with 15. You can see the correlation. So, and the, the Qs did not reject lower price. You know, you got to lower price uh, by about another buck uh, and you come off that baby, but that wouldn't be rejecting. The, the Qs would have had to close up uh, basically, uh, yeah, I had to close about a, another 25% higher in order to reject that lower price. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract, folks, is an ABC structure on the way up. It's a confirmed ABC up. We are at, we're up 21 bucks. You've done 279,000 contracts, big contract volume. Um, 
We're at $12.75. $1,313 is the ABC up projection. Silver, silver also caught a bid. Silver, of course, is uh, just the psycho sister, uh, brother of the gold contract, and uh, it's right back in the higher range. They've done 78,000 contracts out here. You're at $18.30. Silver looks like it wants to run up to that November area, which is $19.06. XAU, HUI, both ABC structures on the way up, confirmed. XAU is up 235 today. You're trading at 89.02. That ABC price projection is 91. Your gold bugs index, that was up uh, 567 at 210. That projection is 219. And notes, notes and bonds. Uh, we have the note market up here. We did 1.4 million contracts. You're at 125.14. You launched the whole consolidation. This baby's up to, gonna make a run for 126 and a half. The 30 year bond also followed through today. You up a full point, you're at 152.25. The launch was 152.12. This, this baby, you're talking some uh, numbers here. We're talking like the 155 and a half. And in fact, I'm gonna put this on a continuous contract so we can see where we are, US1. We'll put this on a continuous contract so we can see the larger aspect. I'll put this on a weekly. Oh, this is going to be a big number. So 150, oh, this is nice. 153, 155, I see. Okay, so right now we're at 152.25. The downdraft, which was November, okay, we came down hard. We came down from 164 to 155. So that's going to get some flack there. You know, this, this is projection is like 155 and a half. That's where it's going to get some flack. And good old King Dollar, folks. What do you got with King Dollar? King Dollar just couldn't handle higher price. King Dollar came down 307 ticks, 23,000 contracts. King Dollar's going to actually need more volume to uh, continue to lower price. The big story out here today, if you're in the metals market, folks, is that the yen blew apart. I uh, expect you're going to see lower prices overnight. Right now, you're down a uh, penny and a quarter at 109. That's a monster move. It broke everything again. The yen's at 109. That's looking to go to 105. And of course, that's saying that gold wants to go to $1,313, and we're at $1,275 right now. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back.